Hi sign friends! Today we're going to be making wool mittens, a very simple sewing project. I made these out of a wool blazer that had been washed and dried already. I have some black fabric today as we work together. You're going to need wool fabric. You'll need some elastic, a safety pin to pull it through the casing, and a piece of paper. Take your piece of paper, put your hand down on there, or your child's hand, whoever you're making these for, and draw around. I'm not going right next to my hand, I'm leaving about a half an inch, and I'm leaving a little bit at the bottom here. We're going to need to make the opening a little bit bigger. This is not stretchy fabric. So I'll show you how to make them big enough to get your hand in. So right now, Start from the bottom. Don't make that opening too big. I mean too small. Go to the corner of the finger there. And move around. around. And do not cut in like that. Cut out a little bit because you want that opening a little bit big. There's our pattern. Getting my fabric. going to lay the pattern on the fabric and I'm going to leave some room down here. This has a hem that I want to avoid using. I'm going to trim that off and I'm going to cut around my pattern. Why don't I cut this hem off right now? I'm going to cut a half an inch or more away from the pattern for my seam line. When I go around the thumb though, I will go all the way in to that corner right there. And then when I start cutting, I'll leave that seam allowance again. Remember to come away from the paper. And down here, you want about a five inch, five inches from edge to edge. Five and a half is even better. So you wanna make sure that you have that much for my average hand. That's about what I needed to get my hand into the mitten. And there is our mitten before sewing. So let's go to the sewing machine. and sew it together. With wool fabric, my wool fabric, it doesn't matter, right side or wrong side, but if you have a right or wrong side, you're gonna want right sides together. I'm gonna start at one end, and I'm gonna sew all the way around. You could pin this first, that might help you. I did not do that. Stop right down here, turn it around, and remember to leave a seam allowance. Get around that thumb. And you need to stop. Don't sew right here. We need to add our elastic. So I'm going to turn this inside. Depending on how big your elastic is, you need to get it through that opening, that casing. So I turned my fabric around onto the inside. Now we take our elastic and our safety pin and go through that casing, pull it all the way through. I like leaving the elastic long rather than measuring it ahead of time because that long tail kind of helps in the long run. If it's short, you might pull it all the way through and get frustrated. So I don't want to get frustrated today. 
pull it all the way through. And get a little bit of a gather there so that mitten will stay on your hand. It's gathered up a little bit, depending on what you like. Now I'm going to leave the elastic right there and I'm going to sew that up, starting where I ended. I'm gonna hold my elastic here, make sure my ends meet there, go across there, and then I'm gonna back stitch to hold that elastic in. Make sure that fits, you can get it on your hand. Then you wanna trim that off. The last thing you can do to make these mittens a little bit more durable is sew this little V shape one more time. That piece part of the mitten gets a lot of stress on it. And make sure that is trimmed all the way down to the V. Turn your mitten right side out. Try it on. Let's see if I can get my thumb through there. There we go, and it fits. Get everything right side out and make another one.